a haunted attraction that scared people around Indy for more than a decade. And people from across the country have gone. Tonight, WRTV's Kaylin Kendall takes a walk through the haunt, showing us what draws people to Anderson year after year. Indy's Green Park has seven different attractions and a midway where actors come to life. Their goal today? To scare me. And I'm a big scaredy cat, so this should be interesting. Simple sponge and a little blood goes a long way. All the prep before the actors come to life. On a fully staffed night, there's 130 of them. And it can get busy. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I'm walking in that hunt, you should I expect see? a crazy prisoner that's going to ask you if you're my attorney. Smelling a burning body excites me. You're going to go in here. We are outside of Lockdown, which is Indy Scream Park's newest attraction. Aubrey's going to show us what it's all about. Let's go. Ah! I actually am scared. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I should expect it, but I'm not. I'm so. <laughs> don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it. So I see him. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm probably death gripping your arm. It's right okay, now. I'm used to oh it. Why did I agree to do this today? I just want to close my eyes. That's what I usually do when I go through on and out. Close my eyes and plug my ears. I know he's about to jump out. He's gonna get me. <laughs> Once you put on a glow necklace, it says that you want to be interactive and you want to be part of the show. So they can pull you away from your group. Yeah, they can put you in body bags. They can put you in big boilers. Um, but basically, that glow necklace means that you want to be, you consent to being grabbed. At any moment, you can take it off and say, I'm done. It was a little too much. Okay. Oh, shoot! Oh, my God! Okay, there's no one there. James Law's in prison, but they do. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we made it. <laughs> we survived. <sighs> I need my heart to like my heart beats to lower down there. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Indy Scream Park has been around for 14 years and they'll be open until the end of next week. For more details on the haunted attraction, we have all the info you need to know on our website, wrtv.com. I'm sweating too. <laughs> like Honestly, that was, it's so much fun. So we did so the scary. zombie paintball assault. Wow. You get to go on a bus and, and kill zombies out there. I see why it's, it's so popular. much fun. I'm missing a lot, I think. You are. I need to get out there. Uh, I, I walked down to the newsroom earlier and saw Caitlin and I just went, boom. Did she jump? <laughs> no, not nah. at all. I am not scary. Okay, this might be a little haunting. Look at that. Monday, 43 on Halloween Day, 42. These are high temperatures. We will have the first freeze of the year coming our way, and it should be widespread. Temperatures mid-20s, if not a little colder. This is Tuesday morning. I'm jumping ahead just so we know where we're headed. I'll talk about how we get there in a second. And with those cold temperatures on Tuesday morning, we struggle to warm up. Tuesday night, Halloween night. It's possible we have some snow showers north central Indiana, some flurries in central portions of the state. Back to present time here, 618 on a Friday evening. You can see some showers and isolated thunderstorms to the west. That's the beginning of the end for our incredibly mild temperatures. This will move to the east and the present timing puts this closer to the state line between eight and nine, maybe fully nine o'clock in some spots. There's the view now. It's been a beautiful afternoon with that sunshine breaking through and temperatures responding. 78 in Sullivan still at this hour. Indy is at 75, a mild night for football and the rain chances increase. Western Indiana, as I mentioned, probably toward halftime of some of these games. And then in the Eastern Indiana, it may